This video is for educational purposes only. Do not try making it or doing anything shown in this video. For this synthesis, I use 70% weight by weight nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid drain cleaner, glycerin and sodium bicarbonate solution. So first, I prepared an ice bath kept in a beaker which had a stir bar in it. In the beaker, I added 10 ml sulfuric acid which is 94% weight by weight concentrated. Then to it, I added with stirring 10 ml 70% nitric acid. Then I placed the thermometer and waited until temperature fall to 5 degrees Celsius. Then I took 3 ml of glycerin with a syringe. For every 10 ml of nitration mixture, we have to take 1 ml of glycerol. In our case, the volume of nitrating mixture is 20 ml. So I have to add 2 ml glycerol. Glycerin is an aqueous solution of glycerol but the concentration is not mentioned on the bottle. So I checked its density and from the density concentration chart I found online, I got to know the concentration of my glycerin. Concentration of glycerin may vary brand to brand. My glycerin was 70% weight by weight glycerol. So I calculated that it was 65.5% volume by volume. So then I calculated the volume of my glycerin equivalent to 2 ml glycerol and it came to be 3 ml. So I added the glycerin slowly drop wise with slow magnetic stirring and swirling the beaker at regular intervals not letting the temperature rise above 15 degrees Celsius in any case. The glycerin was added over a period of half an hour and then it was let to stir in ice bath for another half an hour. So what is going here is a esterification reaction. First the nitronium ion is generated. It then attacks the oxygen of the OH group and the positive charge is neutralized by the release of H plus ion. Thus a nitrate ester is formed. The same attack happens on the three OH groups. This happens best on temperature between 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. When trinitroglycerin is formed, it is indicated by an oily layer over the reaction mixture as you can see here. Then it was kept at room temperature for half an hour. My room temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. You can see an oily layer floating over the reaction mixture and it is our product trinitroglycerol or simply nitroglycerin. It was then poured slowly in ice cold water with stirring. The oil now settles to the bottom. I transferred the contents into a separatory funnel and decanted the lower layer into another beaker. Then to the aqueous layer I added some DCM to extract remaining TNG or trinitroglycerol. Shook it, let it settle and drained it in the same beaker. Then I transferred the aqueous layer in the first beaker. I added the lower DCM and TNG layer back into the separatory funnel. Now to it, I am adding some 5% sodium bicarbonate solution. Then I cap shake and went a few times and let it settle. Then I drained the lower layer into the beaker. Then I also poured the sodium bicarbonate solution in another beaker. Then I again added the acid aqueous layer to which some DCM was added off camera into the separatory funnel. It was capped, shaken and vented.
द लोअर डीसीएम लेयर वॉज ड्रेंड ऑफ इन द बीकर कंटेनिंग सोडियम बाई कार्बोनेट सोल्यूशन एंड देन आफ्टर एम टींग द सेपरेटरी फेनल आई पोर्ड द कॉन्टेंट्स इन इट इन दिस वे आई वुड एक्सट्रैक्ट मोस्ट ऑफ टी एन जी एंड ऑल्सो कीप द डी सी एम मिनिमल बिकॉज द मोर वी यूज द मोर टाइम इट वुड टेक टू इवेपोरेट this dcm was combined with tng the auto ignition temperature of nitroglycerin is just 50 degrees celsius so we could not heat it and we just have to evaporate at room temperature and neither did we have a rota vapor otherwise we would use vacuum to evaporate the dcm the organic layer is cloudy due to presence of water so to dry it i added some anhydrous calcium chloride and swirled the mixture for some time and kept it at rest for few minutes after the solution cleared up i decanted the solution into a dry and clean beaker i washed the calcium chloride and the beaker with dcm and also transferred it in the same beaker and let it evaporate at room temperature for a day after taking the weight of empty beaker i got to know that i had made 3 g of trinitroglycerin which corresponds to a yield of 50% which is not bad if you look at the reagents that i have used to test it i added few drops of it on a filter paper and hit it with a hammer Nitroglycerin is extremely shock sensitive and the bang from small drops is sufficient to cause temporary humming in ears. It's not something to play with. It also works as a vasodilator. That's why I have used gloves because of if it falls on your skin and gets absorbed, it may cause severe headaches. Despite this, nitroglycerin is an important compound to humanity. as it is used to make dynamite which is used for the destruction of buildings etc and it is also used as a medication for high blood pressure as slow nitroglycerin release tablets the bangs produced were very loud and you can estimate the strength of nitroglycerin by this i kept few drops of trinitroglycerin onto this cast iron mortar and hit it by hammer and it blew off my cast iron mortar so it definitely not something to make or play with you can better burn sutli bombs as they also produce similar bangs and are lot safer to burn <laughs> here are some here were some night shots because i had to finish all the trinitroglycerin i made Thanks for watching if you have any suggestions please write down in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe If you like my work you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal links are given in description